For more now, we're joined by Dr. John Brownstein, Chief Innovation Officer at Boston Children's Hospital. Dr. Brownstein, good morning. It's always great to have you. So a new study out of South Africa that we noted there that Omicron is spreading twice as fast as the Delta variant. What do you take away from that? And what is it that we still don't know about this variant? Yeah, well, thanks, Whit. Thanks for having me. You know, the big question is Omicron more transmissible? And the early evidence is maybe. If you look at a few weeks ago in South Africa, they were at about 200 to 300 cases a day. Now they're over 15,000. And that might be related to either increased transmissibility, spreading among the susceptible population, or potential for immune evasion or reinfection. We just have to wait and see as more data comes in. But this is why scientists are really concerned right now about this new variant. We know that Moderna and Pfizer are now adjusting their vaccines to deal with Omicron in the future, saying they could be available in just a few months. What do you say to people, though, who hear that and may think to themselves, maybe I should just wait on getting vaccinated or boosted? Yeah, I'm getting that question a lot, but you know, it's important that these manufacturers are working on these new vaccines. They're an important hedge, and I think ultimately down the road we'll need these new formulations. But we have a surge right now of Delta, so it's important to get boosted. And you know, anecdotally, those who have been vaccinated have only had mild illness when it comes to this Omicron variant. So ultimately, you know, the vaccines that we have available to now are to us now are really our best ticket out of this pandemic at the moment. Now, the Biden administration announced new travel restrictions starting on Monday, a negative test for all travelers coming into the U.S. within 24 hours. Doesn't matter where you're coming from or your vaccination status. But now that the variant is already here, do these restrictions still make sense? Well, I think, you know, the restrictions to certain parts of this globe probably don't make sense. We as scientists have known that, you know, likely Omicron was tra being transmitted in this country, you know, for weeks. And that's what we found in the last couple of days. So ultimately, specific targeted restrictions don't make sense. But exercising caution with travel overall makes sense. Testing before travel, making sure that, you know, you're not bringing infection to other places. That makes sense. So new regulations around testing, great. But, you know, I don't think it makes sense to be targeting certain countries who are just really good at surveillance. Dr. Brownstein, thank you for your time this morning. We always appreciate it. Thank you, Whit. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.